Well, here we go. What are we doing? Well, what are we doing? It would appear we are in the mock-up stage of perhaps a uh, a wheel swap or something like that. So, well, that's exactly what we're doing. This is a snowblower tire. And it's actually the same tire as that. Um, so here what I'm doing, it is a three-quarter shaft, the uh, snowblower was. So what I will do, and it unbolts, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so I've got a three-quarter shaft. I had some pillow block bearings and I wanted to make this work because the old tire, this one right here, is pretty worn out and um, it doesn't go very good in the snow because it's just kind of wide and uh, well obviously with worn out tread and um, and a bunch of other things. I think the chain is too close to the wheel so it always gets snow in it and then that results in snow getting into the belt and then making it slip. So this might this might be better. Um, if any, if nothing, we just get more traction and a taller tire, more ground clearance. Um, this will make it so I will have to raise the front end, but I will find see if I can find some uh, uh, same same diameter tube and remake the uppers for the um, forks. So what I just did is I just drilled the hole for here. I'm going to try to drill it up to 3 8 which is what this uh, bolt is that's going to hold it on. And then this is a piece of a uh, little angle iron thing that I've got. I've got it just tacked on there. I'll cut it off later. Um, but that, I might put a gusset there if I need. And then, as you can see, it's pretty straight. And then I will have to cut open a little hole here, and I might be able to weld a nut in there so I can thread in a bolt or um, weld a stud. So I'm going to go get a 3 8 drill bit, drill that out, and then we'll see what our options are. Alright, so here's what I've come up with. I have made an incision and I will slot a bolt in there like that, line it up so it touches right there, get it right like that. Uh, try to get it straight, I might even bolt the uh, bearing on and then tack it on the top and then try to weld like that and then I might be able to just cut this off uh, a little bit and then get it back back down and then we should be good. Well, got the Mastercraft going. Not too bad. That's not coming off so that's nice and good. The bearing still goes on, has no problem fitting. And that should be good. So I'll do the same to the other side. As you can see, nice and straight, parallel. So I'll recreate that over here. All right, the second one's in there. I've got the material back around it, and I'll weld it in. Should get plenty of penetration uh, through the joints into it. There, that one's welded on. Now I'm gonna see what it looks and then fully weld these. All right, that one looks good. That's how it'll be. The other one should be similar or the same. So I'm gonna mark where I want this cut off, cut it off, and then I think I'll weld them. That's not a bad weld, that's going down. You should go up, but it's easier going down. And we'll try the same on that side. 
All right, so I got a hub for the wheel, and uh, and I'm about to weld uh, the sprocket to the hub and the wheel hub to the axle, and then from there we should be able to figure out some spacers for shims, and then we might even be able to try to, to ride it uh, with no rear brake right now. Then once that is complete, then I'll uh, put a rear brake on it. So that's what we'll do. All right, so here's a challenge. Um, the hub, it has, uh, I think these are brass uh, bushings in it for some reason. So I won't be able to weld through the brass. So I think what I'll have to do is just grind off the edge of the brass and then get to the steel behind there. So I have to just carefully grind it off. So we'll see how that works. The wheel right here. Um, it's the same, so I can run it either way, whichever way I want uh, the valve stem on, or it doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm going to try to weld that just like that. Um, I think it should be fine to just, you know, skip over the brass. Um, I don't know, it'll be fine, I think. Then I've got, got it set up, it's pretty much how I want, so we'll give her a go. So I've got it welded on two corners. So now I guess we'll do the top and the bottom and then fill it in from there and then do the back side. It's going pretty good. Here's the sprocket and sprocket hub ready to be welded up. Probably just going to do, uh, you know, about an inch and an inch on each side should be good enough. Did four tacks really quickly, tack, 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 and now we'll weld in between the tacks. All right, so that's, nothing's tight yet, but I uh, flipped the bearing around the other way so the lock collar's on the inside, and that's almost perfect chain alignment. That's not bad. So I'll tighten it up and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so uh, the uh, storage filled up in the camera there. But anyways, uh, to conclude, um, we're not ready to conclude because uh, it's not finished. Um, still need to put the brake on there and then paint it, of course. Uh, but uh, round one of testing went pretty good. Um, I am happy with it. Nothing broke and it rips pretty good. Tire's really nice. Um, easier to turn because it's a narrower tire and a lot more tread um, a lot more tread for more traction uh, the only thing I don't like uh, about this is because the sprockets I don't know why it rocks on the keyway so that could just be a worn out key and keyway but I don't know it should be fine so uh, in the next video on this topic
which might be a while, uh, but it'll be fine. I'll get the brake figured out and probably lift the front two inches uh, about to match the rear being higher. So uh, that's about it. Till next time, uh, we'll see you in the next time. Goodbye.